Welcome to the Everything Podcast, Season 3, Episode 15, recorded on the 30th of December 2023, released on the 15th of January 2024. The following episode of the Everything Podcast will contain spoilers for the Doctor Who 2023 Christmas special, The Church on Ruby Road. Welcome. Yes, welcome to Season 3, Episode 15. And if you didn't watch the last episode, where I broke down the trailer for The Church Ruby Road, maybe go watch that, because, uh, yes, that'll help. And I've also talked about that I would put a disclaimer at the start of this episode, so you would know that if you haven't seen The Church Ruby Road, please go and watch it and then come back, because I don't want to spoil it for you, because it's amazing. But yes, uh, so I'm going to start with some spoiler-free. We're not going to go straight into a review of the episode, so I'm doing it a little bit differently to how I did it for the 60th anniversary specials, uh, just because, <laughs> just, be, just because, just because I thought it would be a fun way to do it. So yeah, um, so what do we know? So we're going to go through what we know, and then basically all the production-y side for the Christmas special, and then I'm going to get to my actual review of it. So, we know the title is The Church on Ruby Road. We know that the writer is Rusty Davis. We know the director is Mark Tonderoy, and we know that the cast includes Shooter Gatwa, Mida Gibson, Michelle Greenidge, Angela Weinter, Anita Dobson, Davina McCall, Gemma Arrowsmith, and Mary Malone. We know that it is broadcast on the 25th of December 2023. And now we're going to go into the production bits and um, pieces. So on Sunday the 13th of November 2022, draft 4 of our Christmas special is delivered, incorporating notes from the tone meeting. Tuesday the 20th of December 2022, uh, a fifth draft of the Christmas special is re received. Monday the 2nd of January 2023, Technically, it's a bank holiday, but scripts are still arriving. Draft 5 of our Christmas special comes in, though a few small amends are delayed, ironically, by Russell taking down his Christmas decorations. The 5th of January 2023, an amended draft of the Christmas special is delivered. Monday the 6th of February 2023, as we get into the second week of our Christmas special shoot, uh, a guest star from 2005 returns. The 7th of March 2023, the Christmas special wraps filming. See, it's about a month-ish. Uh, no, take to film each episode, I think. Uh, Tuesday, the 21st of March 2023, the producer team uh, unite over Zoom and in the edit suites to swap fine cut notes on our Christmas episode. Wednesday, the 26th of April 2023, we briefly dive delve back into the Christmas period to complete location filming for our festive episode in Bristol. The 16th of October 2023, the producer group watch a final review of the 2023 Christmas special. Now, last warning. Spoiler alert. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, keep beep, 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 beep. Alarm sounding. Um, if you have not watched The Church on Reby Road, please go and watch it because I'm about to do my review for it and will contain spoilers. You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, if you well, if you're still here, I'm guessing you've watched the episode or you're just going to ignore my several spoiler warnings. And if you've just watched the episode and come back, I'm glad I didn't spoil it for you. Here's my review for the Doctor Who 2023 Christmas special. The Church on Ruby Road. The episode starts off with the Hooniverse intro. The Doctor narrates the opening scene. This opening scene includes a hooded figure carrying a baby. This hooded figure 
is the baby's mum. The hooded figure abandons her baby and leaves them on a doorstep on Christmas Eve. The child is taken in by a bishop or priest and called Ruby. I should mention that the baby is left um, outside a church. Otherwise, it makes sense. Uh, the Doctor appears at the end of this opening scene. And then we have the title sequence, which has obviously been updated uh, slightly. Basically, the main difference is obviously the names, because in the 60th, it was David Tennant and Catherine Tate. Obviously, going forward now, is Shooter Gatwell and Millie Gibson. The next scene features Davina McCall and Ruby Sunday. Ruby is trying to find her birth parents by going on a show presented by Davina, similar to Long Lost Family. This scene takes place on the 1st of December 2023. Ruby talks about her foster mum Carla. Davina and Ruby narrowly avoid being killed by falling lights. The following scene takes place on the 22nd of December 2023, so we've had a three week time jump. Ruby is part of a band and can play the piano and keyboard. The band is performing and then abruptly stops for no reason at all. The next scene is set a day later on the 23rd of December 2023. Ruby is in a nightclub. The Doctor is dancing in this nightclub. The Doctor saves Ruby's drink from smashing. The Doctor shows his psychic paper to Ruby. Ruby drops her drink. Ruby and her bandmates get into a taxi. The Doctor uses a sonic to change the colour of the traffic lights. The Doctor saves a woman with a pram being hit by a null and uh, by an enormous inflatable snowman. The snowman's head falls on the Doctor. The Doctor punches his way out and talks to the woman with a pram. A police officer then chases the Doctor. The Doctor introduces himself to the police officer. The Doctor works out that the police officer is planning to propose on Christmas Day and his girlfriend will say yes. Uh, uh, that's not the doctor's girlfriend, that's the police officer's girlfriend, I should have specified that. The doctor shows the police officer his sonic screwdriver, the TARDIS dematerialises, and the police officer watches this happen. The next scene takes place on the 24th of December, or Christmas Eve, 2023. Ruby gets off a bus, the TARDIS is materialised on the road where Ruby lives. Ruby talks to her neighbour, Mrs Flood. Mrs Flood remembers that today is Ruby's birthday. Ruby drops her shopping, Ruby returns home, Carla tells Ruby that they are fostering a baby. Ruby is in shock, Ruby talks to her grandma, Cherry. Cherry asks Ruby to make her a cup of tea, Carla fills Ruby in about the baby they are fostering, Ruby and Carla talk about Ruby's birth mum, the social worker brings the baby round to Carla and Ruby's house. The baby's name is Lulu Bell, Cherry asks for a cup of tea again, Carla takes a picture of Lulu Bell. Carla goes out shopping. Ruby is left in charge of looking after Lulu Bell. Cherry asks for a cup of tea a third time. Or for a third time. Ruby gets a phone call. Ruby answers. Uh, Davina rings Ruby. So that's who's on the phone, Davina McCall. Uh, to tell her that there are no traces of her birth parents and to ask about bad luck. Davina has one of her arms in a sling and one of her legs in a boot. The Christmas tree falls on Davina and kills her. The goblins have kidnapped Lulu Bell, Ruby meets the goblins, Ruby clings onto the goblins' ladder, the doctor meets Ruby again, the doctor gives Ruby one of his intelligence gloves, Ruby refers to these gloves as super gloves, the goblins surround the doctor and Ruby, the doctor and Ruby are tied up, Ruby tells the doctor that Christmas Eve is her birthday, the doctor works out the goblins' plan with help from Ruby, the doctor is offended when Ruby calls the goblins time travellers, the doctor escapes the ropes keeping tied up, the doctor unties Ruby, the Doctor uses his Sonic to open a door. The Doctor introduces his Sonic screwdriver to Ruby. The Doctor and Ruby argue about the different priorities in relation to their current situation. The Doctor opens another door using rope. Uh, the because it's some kind of language type thing. The Goblins sing the Goblin song whilst the Doctor and Ruby try to say Lulu Bell. The Doctor and Ruby save Lulu Bell, and the Doctor uh, introduces himself and Ruby to the Goblin King. And the Doctor and Ruby sing. The Doctor and Ruby escape the Goblin King ship. Cherry meets the Doctor. The Doctor trips over a wire and nearly causes a lamp to break, which uh, Ruby fortunately catches. Ruby shows the Doctor her kitchen, which the Doctor calls a death trap. Ruby shows the Doctor every child that Carl uh, has fostered. Ruby calls uh, the Goblins magic. The Doctor tries to correct her. Ruby ignores him. Carla meets the Doctor. Ruby introduces the Doctor to Carla. Ruby tells Carla that there are no traces of her birth parents. Carla tells Ruby and the Doctor that she has fostered 33 children. The Doctor tells Ruby and Carla that he is adopted. The goblins cause a window to shatter and a crack to appear in Ruby's house. The Doctor checks that uh, Cherry's safe. The Doctor does the same with Lulu Bell. 
Ruby has vanished. The Doctor looks for Ruby. Carla doesn't know who Ruby is. Neither does Cherry. Carla, without Ruby, only fostered five children. Carla calls Lulu Bell a brat. Both Carla and the Doctor are crying about Ruby. The Doctor works out what the Goblin's new plan is. Mrs. Flood watches the TARDIS dematerialise. The Doctor uh, travels back to the day, featured in the opening scene, with Ruby's birth mum leaving her outside a church. The Doctor clings onto the Goblin's ladder, which currently has baby Ruby on it. The Doctor uses his intelligence gloves. The Doctor saves baby Ruby and erases the Goblins from existence. The Doctor catches baby Ruby. The Doctor restores the timeline. The Doctor returns to the TARDIS. The TARDIS dematerialises. The TARDIS materialises back. On Christmas Eve 2023, the Doctor reunites with Ruby. The Doctor fills in Ruby about the Goblins. The Doctor saves D Davina McCall's life. The Doctor talks to Mrs. Flood about bad luck. Carla gives Cherry a cup of tea. Carla calls the Doctor crazy. Ruby realises the Doctor is a time traveller. Ruby asks Mrs. Flood about the Doctor. Ruby enters the TARDIS. Mrs. Flood wishes Ruby good luck. Ruby enters the TARDIS again. The scene interrupts the credits. This scene includes Mrs. Flood saying never seen a TARDIS before. The scene is followed by this caption. Doctor Who will return in 2024. So that's the plot of the episode. What are my thoughts on the church on Ruby Road? I loved seeing how the Doctor met Ruby. Enjoyed the Christmas elements of the episode. And I liked seeing the Doctor and Ruby sing. So in the comments below, let me know. Hopefully you watched the episode. Let me know what you thought of the episode. If you skipped, or if you ignored, not skipped, ignored all my spoiler warnings and watched my review, let me know what you thought of that. You can do both those things in the comments below. Remember, you can also like and subscribe. And that's it for the Everything Podcast, Season 3, Episode 15. Goodbye.